Welcome back to Granite Farms. If you need to know how to hang a closet clothing rack or how to use toggle screws, stay tuned. We're going to talk all about this. These toggle screws come in super handy when you are not hanging something on a stud. You just want to put it straight into the sheetrock, but you don't want it to fall down. The smallest screw size I bought was 1 8 inch. You probably saw them a little smaller, but this will hold 80 pounds, one screw. So I don't know if you multiply that times, look at all those, four. And I had eight on one side, eight on the other. That's 16 times 80. I think this is going to hold a lot of weight. I think my toddler could hang off of my bars and they will be fine. We are not going to test that theory, however, because hopefully they will be too full of clothing. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is get your screws through the holes. You put the screw in and then spin the toggle around the back and you want it to wear when you pinch it closed. The um, clasp is facing towards you or the, the hinge part is facing the wall. All right, then you have to drill your holes, pre-drill. And here is a pro tip, save you money. If you do not have a big enough drill size, just drill three small holes right together and then um, spin your electric drill just kind of circle motion and you can make your holes bigger that's what we had to do we had a pretty large drill bit size and still the hole was not big enough because you have to fit this a giant toggle into it so then what you want to do is shimmy those toggles in and get all of them lined up we have eight on each side to do this took us quite some time and it is challenging probably one of the most challenging things I've done in a while like worse than a puzzle I don't know, worse than taking a very cold shower. Yes, but it will be worth it because I figure this thing hangs up for 50 years or more. Hopefully it's worth it. And isn't this a beautiful, I think it's cast iron, metal, super heavy industrial clothing rack. It came in pieces and where those pipes are, we just spun them together. And I think it looks fabulous and it's pretty heavy. So these toggle screws are gonna come in handy. And I have my husband helping on the other side, he's holding it. I'm going to try to get you in closer here to take a look at behind the black yeah. bars to see what's going on with those screws. They are a challenge, but totally worth it if you need to hang this up anywhere. Look, I thought about this. If you have a small apartment or studio apartment, you can hang this in a corner. You don't have to have two walls together to hang it because it hangs directly anywhere. I thought this would make a really great entryway piece as well. You put can put a piece of wood on the top to make it a cabinet style or a shelf I mean. Okay so you gotta get your finger back there and push them all in. Don't push them in too far. Just get the toggle kind of wedged in the wall first. Once I get all four wedged in the wall then I will push the screw all the way in making sure the toggle gets past the sheetrock so that it will bust open into that t-shape. Once it's in that T-shape, then you come back in with your screwdriver. Now, could you use an electric screwdriver? Yes, but would I? No, not for this job because there's so many screws. Also, it's close to the metal and I didn't want to mark up the metal any. Don't wanna have to come back in and do that. You can see I have some pretty long natural nails that are thin and I don't really care about them. I'm not such a girly girl. So my nails are going to come in handy later, fingernails that is, not nail nails, um, as I use those to help apply pressure when screwing. So a toggle screw is a little different. If you were to just try to screw it, it would just spin and spin because it's not going into wood. There's nothing behind it, nothing at all, except for that T toggle piece. So what you have to do is apply some pressure and pull it back towards you while you push on the screwdriver, pushing it in. And believe it or not, it works. It worked. These got up, and as you'll see at the end of this video, there are actually clothes hanging on them. So once I get that final toggle in, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> when I bought these, I liked the look. I just buy things, I'm funny, on this farmhouse because I like the look. I bought black because I thought that would look great for Come the on. bathroom and the faucets uh, and... Yes, the light, please. and then I thought, well, now I need a black clothing rack. I didn't want to use the metal okay, bar that was there that was like some silver old looking thing. So we have this empty kind of walk in closet. You can see it from the bathroom. Like there is no door. You can just see it. It's wide open door. 
there's no door. So I thought I wanted something that looks a little nicer here. And we found these online. I'll link below so you can see them. Pretty heavy duty. And this is me pulling the screw towards me. So you can see kind of how you have to pull it back out after you push it all the way in so that you can get that pressure on there and screw it to the wall using just a regular screwdriver. It's super easy. The easiest screw to put in because there's no pressure behind it except for what your finger is pulling back out at you. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a shot there and not of me in my no makeup, in my pajamas, skipping church to work on this because some people in my house are sick and when we're sick we stay home because that is the wise thing to do right now. So once you screw in all 16 <laughs> screws and step back, you'll notice what I did, which is, oh my gosh, these screws are silver in a black fixture. It doesn't look as great as the black screws that came with it. So here I can use your fingernail at the very, very end, just kind of slip something under there, pull it towards you so that you get some counter pressure. And yes, I screwed my fingernail to the wall several times on Sunday. However, just one screw back to the left and you can get your fingernail out again. And then your screw can go all the way in and you do want to just tighten it. You'll know when it's tight, it feels like a regular screw. It feels nice and tight in there. And you, harder to turn, right? Come on, ladies, you got this. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Trust me, easy. Then the other side. My husband couldn't even get those toggle screws in there because we have tinier hands, it's easier for us ladies to do this project anyhow. So, dropped my screwdriver in the process several times and it sparked. I couldn't believe it. I was so afraid I was gonna break the porcelain tile. All right, so the toggles that go on the screw, I had one left and I was able to slide that behind there just like I did my fingernail. When it gets closer to the wall, it was easier to, to use that toggle. And then you wanna pull it out at the end just when you're getting it nice, good and tight. And another little close-up of the toggles. Now these toggles, you'll save money by buying the cheaper ones, which is what we did. And um, you can use them to help apply the counter pressure. Now it was five dollars for a box of like 20 or 25. I think that's a pretty great deal because there was a box of 20 there for 20 dollars also. And that would have been a lot of screws for us because we had two clothing racks with 16 each and then two more with eight each. So that would have been like buying a whole other clothing rack, right? So we bought the cheap ones. However, if you're doing a one person job, you can buy the more expensive ones and it'd probably be a lot easier than what this is. However, this is doable. It is doable. Maybe about four hours get it done. And that's just because first you put the bars up and you mark your holes, then you drill your holes, and then you take it down and you put in your toggles and I'm giving it four hours just to go into the store. I added a layer of black uh, metal paint. It's the Rust-Oleum brand, just to cover up the screws and make it look uniform. Not that we have the best clothing, but look, the racks hold the clothes. Here awesome. On this channel, subscribe and hit the like button for us. Hit the bell to see more DIY and tips where you can learn how to do life on the farm for less.